from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering VMworld 2018. Brought to you by VMware and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back to VMworld Day 3. Continuing coverage with theCUBE, I'm Lisa Martin with Dave Vellante sporting this fantastic salmon tie and what you can't see is the matching salmon pants, Dave. Uh, there you go. I feel <laughs> like... I still have my voice. No. <laughs> hey, the outfit game is on point, Dave. Hey, thank you. So we've been here, this is our third day. This yes. is a huge event, 25,000 or so people here. Lots of great announcements. We're excited to welcome to theCUBE for the first time Mimi Spear, the Vice President of the Internet of Things Business at VMware. Mimi, thank it's great you. to have I'm you. Thank you, I'm so happy to Thanks be here. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, it's great. So, three, three action-packed days, yes. lots of announcements, lots of momentum. Yeah. You lead a team at VMware that launched the VMware IoT business about a year and a half ago, including launching the product, the GTM strategy, the partner and marketing strategy. That's correct. In the last year and a half, talk to us about the evolution of VMware IoT, the business challenges that you're helping customers to solve. Absolutely. So, you know, this has been a journey for almost, you know, a couple years now, and VMware saw a need to really start to look at what we'll call the edge or IoT use cases. Our customers started coming to us saying, wait a minute, this is coming. I know my business units are starting to invest in IoT. I have no control over it. I have no exposure to it. What should I do? And we are, you know, really committed to being an infrastructure company. We knew that when we started this journey and we said, we really want to focus on infrastructure, but we want to help our customers go to the edge, really start to embrace this new opportunity in the industry to be able to take advantage of this data. We, we call it, you know, the data is the gold. How do you actually be able to take advantage of it? So we're, we're really excited. We just started the journey and now we've really, this VM world is where we're, the momentum is starting to take off. How do you look at that opportunity? Because it's, it's complicated, especially for a bunch of IT people, right? Exactly. <laughs> and, and now you're entering this world of operations technology, but how do you sort of look at the landscape of the market? I'm really, I'm really glad you asked that because that's one of my favorite topics. So, you know, I want our customers to think about, first of all, what are the mission critical objectives of their business? They shouldn't do IOT just to do IOT. They need to do what's right for their business. But I also think it's important that they look beyond that. So if you look at some of the macro trends happening in the world today, there will need to be 70% more food that's created and there's only 5% more land that it can be built on. There's going to be 300 million connected cars out on the roads. Uh, there was a statistic that there will be um, two thirds of energy is consumed by cities, yet we still have very old ways of doing it, but it's in this very consolidated area. Why would we not take advantage of that? So I think industries, whether you're in energy or you're in smart cities or you're in you know, automotive, you have to really think about where is your industry going and how can, and even IT people need to think about this, I think, and I'll explain why in a minute, but how can I actually create an industry that, and, my, and a company that can sustain in this future world and also you know, contribute to the future of what our world's going to be like? So I think, and the technology and the way we set this up and the architecture is really the foundation to do that. So that's where VMware comes in. Okay, and, and talk a little bit more about VMware's st specific strategy as okay. it relates to, to IoT. I mean, I was at the, the big Dell announcement last fall Okay, okay yes. so you, you've got Dell sort of with existing relationships actually with a lot of the industrial giants. Yes. But now enter VMware, what's your strategy? Yeah, so first I want to say that Dell and VMware have come together into one big business unit to solve IoT and Edge. And the beauty of that is we believe that our customers um, can really have a more simplistic way of achieving this in infrastructure foundation if we can offer these end-to-end -end solutions together. So I'll talk about how the Dell piece fits into the VMware strategy. But what VMware is trying to do is drastically simplify the complexity of the infrastructure and the foundation you'll need for IoT. So we want to extend what we're doing in the cloud and the multi-cloud, because we fundamentally believe most of our customers are actually in multiple clouds, private, public, multiple mm -hmm. public, and actually be able to extend that down to whatever edge they need as well. 
because of the amount of data that will be generated at the edge. There's going to be, I don't know, analysts say 50 to 75% of data will be generated at the edges of our business by 2020. And think about it, all of our applications today are in the cloud. So there must be edge computing that is local to be able to process that data. Uh, and there also needs to be, there's this heterogeneous set of devices that will need to be managed, monitored, secure, and collect that data. So this requires, it's complex. So we want to drastically simplify that, and that's the overarching part of our strategy. But we also want to allow our customers to do it in a way that's secure, that's scalable, and that's manageable over time, so. So does that mean putting, so first of all, the Dell partnership is, is interesting, and, uh, Alan Cohen, one of our guest analysts this week, said partnerships used to be like tennis, you know, you've one-on-one, -on -one, <laughs> and now <laughs> partnerships like soccer. There's so many parts of the ecosystem, yeah. so that's sort of one observation, but are you sort of bringing VMware to the edge, is that, you know? We are, so we're bringing VMware to the edge. We announced a new portfolio of solutions called VMware Edge. It will take advantage of the ability to do the compute edge, which mm -hmm. is the processing at the edge, and really extending our hyperconverge technology as a service, like we're doing for VMC on AWS, to the edge, and it includes our device edge. And there's a lot of things All that right. is happening on the device edge, which is like gateways and things, um, that we want to help provide a more software-defined approach as well as ensure that those can be managed, monitored, secure across all the diverse set of, of devices. Now, you can't do that alone. The ecosystem you mentioned, I've never seen any, you know, in my history of, of my career, the amount of collaboration that's going on across the ecosystem. Because IoT is so hard, so you really do need to collaborate. And we are collaborating with the IoT platform providers, the gateway and, and the thing providers, you know, the hardware providers, the system integrators, it requires that to be successful. But what we want to do with Dell is do it in a way that we offer these end-to-end -end solutions so that it's, it's just more simple. You can go to one place to consume it, to ensure that it gets deployed, and to actually support that solution, but offering it from a multitude of our partners. So. so let's dig into simplicity, because we hear that Mimi all the time, as you do too. Customers want choice, they want simplicity, right yep. Dave? They want flexibility. They want it all. They want it all, we all they want do. it all. But how, how are, is, is the VMware Edge computing strategy from a technology level actually facilitating simplicity in what is inherently a complex world of multiple devices, multiple clouds, et cetera. Talk to us about the technology and the actual enablers of that simple approach they need. I'm so glad you asked me that. So, we, you know, we've been saying very consistently that we want to offer consistent infrastructure, consistent operations, but we want to give you the choice of your application platform or development platform. We're going to do the exact same thing at the edge. So everything that VMware customers experience in their private cloud, their SDDC you know, solution, private cloud, public cloud, we are now going to offer as a service at the edge. Same infrastructure, same operational model as the hybrid cloud model, uh, but at the edge, with the choice of the application development tools that they would like, because they might want Greengrass from Amazon, they might want you know, the Azure, they might want IoT Watson, whatever they want at the edge, we want to be able to support that on our infrastructure, but still maintaining that simplicity of a consistent infrastructure, no matter where you choose to run your applications. We want to we want to just eliminate the even thought process. Run your applications anywhere on a consistent infrastructure with the same management, the same operations, and move them around as much as you'd like. So is there an, an abstraction layer almost that this can enable so that that management of, of all of these different applications and, and development platforms can be really done seamlessly? Yeah, so Project Dimension, we announced yep. a tech preview, and we'll, we'll be you know, launching it later this year and it will have a management layer that allows you to move your infrastructure and be able to actually, actually it's a VMware managed solution, so we will do it for you, it's even more simple. Um, but be able to choose where you want to run that uh, appliance as a service or infrastructure, whether it be the public cloud, the, pub, the private cloud or the data center and the edge. So that is the new, what you call extraction, it's almost a new dimension, no pun intended. Hence the name. Hence the name of um, across all of your different clouds or edge. So the notes I had on Dimension, a hybrid cloud control plane, and the end-to-end -end VMware stack 
on-prem cloud at the edge. That's right. And I think I think I heard Lenovo, VMware, and Dell are the initial. That's sort right. Of Lenovo, providers. Dell is the hardware. And that. What's the consumption model? Is that an as-a-service consumption yes. model? So we'll start with as-a-service, and what that means is VMware will actually manage your hardware, your infrastructure, and your software. We will do it for you, obviously with the collaboration of when to do it and if everything, you know, because this could be at the edge running mission critical applications. We want to make sure the OT, you know, it's a really an opportunity for OT and IT to collaborate and ensure that it's meeting the OT needs as well. So it's bringing a cloud-like a, a, a consumption model to the edge, which of course is exactly. huge for VMware. I think, I think probably 10% of your business today is, is SaaS based. Yeah. And you, the trend is clear, and it's, the trend is your friend, as they say, but it's not easy to necessarily get there. So that's exciting, I think, that you're delivering that as, an, as a service. I think we got really lucky. We, you know, ended up with this hybrid cloud strategy. It was the right thing to do. It's absolutely where the market's gone. And we're now almost at a multi-cloud strategy. And that puts us at the perfect position because we have set up our customers to be flexible and be able to choose whatever cloud or private they want in the cloud. We are very easily able to extend that to the edge. So it puts us in a very good position. You know, talking about the ecosystem again, I mean, the IOT, it's, I mean, it's every industry, every sector, every size of company, and I want you to discuss the ISV piece of this. It's a very complex situation. I would love to talk about ISV. Yeah, but it's, there's so many ISVs, it makes your eyes bleed when you look at the, the list of ISVs. It's hard to, hard to figure out, okay, who's real, who's not, and yep. who to partner with. How are you guys sorting out all that out? Okay, so we are the infrastructure. What is beautiful about that is we are not competing with the ISVs at all. Right. So they all want to work with us. And the ISVs in the IOT world consists of not only specific application providers, but also IOT platform providers. So it's the SAPs of the world, it's Microsoft, it's also the Bosch, the GE. It's everybody that wants to do something with that data uh, and build applications on it. Most of those are doing industry specific things. So what we're going to do is take Project Dimension and we're going to offer appliances as a, as a service for industry specific use cases, and sometimes they're horizontal, like building management, but we're going to pick the best ones that we think have you know, the right solution that can scale to the level our customers need in a secure way, and doing the most rich experience with our data. In fact, we have 15 different partners in our zone right now, uh, really showing what they can do across six different industries, and that's what we're going to do with them. We're also with Pulse, so I need to talk a little bit about Pulse because it's my baby. Um, we announced Pulse IoT Center 2.0. And what that is, it's, it's the ability to manage, monitor, and secure things or uh, IoT gateways. So one example of that is surveillance. We are partnering with camera companies that offer, also offer analytic applications for you know, visualization and, and surveillance. And we're offering an end-to-end -end solution. In fact, we announced the Dell Technologies Surveillance Solution, partnering with companies like Access Communications, owned by Canon. Pulse runs on the camera to ensure that that camera is working properly, has, you know, hasn't been hacked into, can get patched, can get uh, it isolated, it, God forbid something happens. Uh, and we're doing the same thing across many of the device and think providers as well. So which let's really talk falls about, into that. Sorry, Mimi, let's talk about an actual customer where do they start in this conversation? Because mm -hmm. as you were saying in the beginning, you know, the world is going IOT, there's this proliferation of devices, companies ha are moving in this direction because they have no choice. Right, right. We were talking with the school district yesterday and you know, the proliferation of, of BYOD and yes. all of the things. So how, where does the conversation start with a customer about VMware Edge? Is it start with the, the business level leadership who need to be able to get a handle on this and, right. and identify new revenue streams, new business models? Does it start with the technology folks who have to have the infrastructure to support it? What is that sort of, I'm a customer, maybe a hospital or whatnot, where do I start? Great question, so uh, it starts, it depends is the answer, it can start either way. Even if it starts on the infrastructure side, what we always tell IT is that you really need to have a reason to do this. You need to work with your business, you need to prioritize, you need to understand the mission critical objectives of your business, the outcome you're trying to achieve, and then let's work together on a use case and we can help solve it with your business. So whether we go through IT and we really educate them on the importance of this digital foundation at the edge, 
and then we work with one of their businesses, uh, maybe it's security and surveillance, or maybe it's you know, with a bank, the ATM uh, group. <laughs> Actually, there is a group uh, that runs the ATMs, and we're working with that group. It might be the bank of the future you know, retail bank, and they're all different organizations with many different use cases. We'll work with all of them. The nice thing about starting with IT is IT understands the challenge that they're faced with and they really want to have the impact that they've had on the IT organization now on the OT. OT's very siloed. So anyway, it starts there, but with our partners and the beauty about working with partners like ISVs, it will start on the OT side and it will start with the use case and then they'll go to the IT side and say, hey, what about VMware to solve this? And IT will say, are you serious? That's, that's a dream. So it, it absolutely is both, but it has to have a business outcome. I mean, how about the data model? I mean, we know from you know, talking to IT people, they understand data, they've lived data their whole lives. Yep. A lot of the, the operations side of the business is, is analog today and it's becoming digital. What's the conversation like around data? Huh, so, okay, so my whole background is data. I started in business intelligence and then analytics and then big data and now IOT. Um, the, the purpose of the data, so first of all, it depends on the use case. So the one thing that we like to educate our, anyone we're talking to is that you are going to need deep learning and you're going to need real-time analytics. And each use case will be unique and depending on the use case, you will need a slightly different architecture. Uh, so we'll help support this foundation based on the data. It's always about the data, or actually even more importantly, the insights you're trying to get from the data. Once you know your use case, then you can determine where am I getting this data, <laughs> although sometimes you already know, and what's the right analytic process? Am I doing machine learning? Am I doing AI? Am I doing just predictive analytics? Do I want to do something quickly at the edge to determine something in real time and then send it back to make that process smarter? That's actually what I think will ultimately happen. It will be a decision-making loop that goes from the edge to the cloud and back. But that's the data conversation we have, and, it, and I could talk all day just yeah, about that and, topic. And, and <laughs> I mean, I know we're tight on time, but how prominent is the discussion around data ownership? I mean, oh, does the okay, factory yes. own the data? Yes. Does the device manufacturer own the data? I mean, oh, yes and yes. I mean, I there's, there is controversy there, but typically, you know, I know the device manufacturers want to own the data, and oftentimes they have access to that data. I, you know, every industry is slightly different, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, the customer should, should own the data. I mean, they should at least have access to that data. And we will always say in our situation, the customer, the data is yours. And we will work with the, both of those organizations, because those will be our constituents to a use case, and we will do what's right for that use case, and hopefully everybody wins. I, you know, it really does depend. Uh, if it's a car manufacturer, they have to own the data because they have to make sure that car is safe and secure. Uh, but there might, you know, need to be a level of access that the consumers get as well. Right. So, Mimi, thanks so much for stopping by. I can tell by your energy and your <laughs> genuine Definitely. passion for this. We're going to hear a lot more, Dave, about what VMware Edge is doing and helping customers embrace the superpowers that Pat Gelsinger was talking about on Monday. Great to have you Excellent. on the show, Mimi. Thank you for having me. Have a great day. Thank you. For Dave Vellante, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE, continuing coverage of VMworld 2018. This is our third day. Stick around. We'll be right back with our next guest.